Jim Obergefell, UC President Santa Ono, entrepreneurs on Shark Tank. There are some really interesting people living among us here in the tri-state, and right now you have a chance to go into some of their homes and hear their stories. It's all part of the Sunday Salon Series, and here to tell us more about it is committee chair Melanie Garner. Melanie, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. This is a really cool concept that a lot of people may not know about. It's been around for quite some time. Give us a little history of this series. Well, we've been doing this for 20 years, so this is sort of a special year for us, and in uh, recognition of that, we decided to expand. Uh, typically, we've done from 10 to 12 salons. This year, we have 14. Uh, as you noted, we have some really interesting people here to draw yeah. from, and also, part of the attraction is you get to see the inside of some house that you may drive past in your daily travels and think, boy, that's great looking. I wonder what it's like inside. Very cool, and this is called the Sunday Salon Series because it happens on a Sunday. People can buy tickets to get into this intimate setting. Yes. Um, talk to me about then what happens when you walk in. Well, uh, generally there's about uh, 40 minutes of milling, frittering, greeting, uh, networking, talking to other people, and eating and drinking. Love that. Um, the hosts provide lovely refreshments depending on the time of day, sometimes a brunch, sometimes hors d'oeuvres. Uh, then we have a program of appro approximately 45 minutes with uh, our speaker, and then usually a Q&A. This is really cool. Uh, to get inside someone's home, what's mm -hmm. usually their reaction when you approach them about something like this? Um, well, I think sometimes they're probably a little surprised, but I think generally they're flattered. Absolutely. Um, we've become very bold in terms of just knocking on a door and saying, you have a really great house, would you consider <laughs> doing this? <laughs> but sometimes we get a wonderful surprise. Last year at the end of the season, a woman came up to me and said, I would really like to host next year. And her house is in what was a Presbyterian church. It's a condo. And, oh, how neat. And it's so you get absolutely glorious. Look. Very cool. So sometimes we get a gift like that without having to work for it. So not only do you get to go and listen to somebody speak who may be a well-known person here in the tri-state, but the tickets are also benefiting uh, women helping women. Yes. And uh, last year we served over 12,000 clients. So wow. we're not going away because the problems we deal with aren't going away. This is so cool, guys. I want to put a full list of the speakers on our website, WCPO.com. You can also check it out at womenhelpingwomen.org.com. Dot, dot, dot org. And uh, get those tickets. The first one you said is? The first one is All the Glitters. It's Ooh. on a vintage jewelry featuring Kim Klosterman. We still have some spaces available for that one. That will be January 17th. And then, then we go full force. All with right. Some days, two salons. There is one on Saturday. Great. That's All right. different for us, but that's at the Mercantile Library. Lots to check out. Melanie, yes. thanks again. Thank you.